It's a Glashill boiler mate or sister mate A class. It's a thermal store. I'm just going to run through how it works. I'll just take the cover off. So in this big silver bit at the back is a cylinder. It's an open vented cylinder, a bit like a open vented hot water water cylinder. Yes, you got a header tank at the top, so no pressure relief valves. Now the water inside this cylinder doesn't go anywhere. Just gets fed from the header tank, and should it need draining, it'll drain out here, so it doesn't um, go to any of the radiators or to any of the hot taps. It just circulates around inside the water within the thermal source heated by the boiler and we've also got this plate heat exchanger for the hot water which gives really good flow of hot water so when we turn on a hot water tap a flow switch will take, make this pump run it'll draw hot water, heated water from inside the thermal store around the one side of the plate heat exchanger which then goes back into the the bottom of the thermal store and we get our cold water coming into the other side of the plate heat exchanger and out then to your hot taps oh sorry it's this way around the cold comes in then out to your hot taps there's a sensor on the top so we've got a heat only boiler here no pump and we see this pressurized system we've got a pressure gauge there filling loop and a pressure relief valve the flow pipe from the boiler Comes up, upstairs, and then up into the pump for the central heating, which will pump the water up. There's an automatic bypass here, which will connect the return and the flow. But the pump will pump the heated water from the boiler up into the zone valve and around the pipe down to the radiators. It also goes into the thermal store into a coil which spins round and round and this is how the water within the thermal store is heated and then it will then return to the boiler the return pipes and the radiators then will tag back and then bypass to here the thermal store has also got uh, an immersion heater common fault with these thermal stores is this printed circuit board they're quite expensive to replace we see tagged into the heating, so tagged into the pipes above the boiler, you've got this expansion vessel. So the heating is completely separate from the the water within the thermal store. Like I say, the water in the thermal store is just in this header tank in the main cylinder and going around one half of the plate heat exchanger back around the hot and cold water separated by the plate heat exchanger. So all this does is comes in for the mains out to the hot taps and also the pressurised water from the boiler is also separated as it's going through a coil, it's not actually mixing with the water. So it's going up here through a coil to heat the water within the thermal store, again returning back to the boiler.